Hey you guys and welcome back to another video. This is the chicken carbonara recipe that I did in my last vlog and said I would post it soon. So here it is. By the way, if you haven't had a chance to look at that vlog, I'll post a link up here at the top so you can go click on it and check it out. Okay, now on that day we went to the movies. I believe that was that Tuesday. And before I left for the movies, I went ahead and put my chicken on. Now you can season your chicken however you would like, but all I did was add Italian season, Se seasoned salt, um, garlic powder, tahini seasoning, turmeric, and then I also added a half a cup of water. And I make sure the seasoning was in there very well because this is the most seasoning you're going to put in this dish, okay? You're going to add other seasoning, but this is the majority where a lot of your flavor will come from also is from your chicken. After I made sure the seasoning was on every piece of chicken, I went ahead and put my lid on my pressure cooker and then I put it on high pressure for 20 minutes to um, get up to pressure and cook while we were gone and we were at the movies. So that when I came back, everything was ready to go and I could just start the process of cooking. If you have a chance to do that, I suggest you make the chicken ahead of time. I do suggest that you make it because the store, the rotisserie chicken just doesn't give it the flavor like you doing your own chicken and making sure it has enough seasoning. Now, all I'm doing after we returned was cutting up about 12 or 14 slices of bacon. And I'm cutting them up into thin strips. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and put them in my skillet. And I'm going to go ahead and let those cook until they're good and pretty much crispy. Okay, you want to make sure you have enough bacon because you're going to also add it inside of your sauce and you're going to also add it as a garnish on top okay so you want to make sure you have enough bacon Now, as my bacon is finished crisping up, I'm going to go ahead and get my pasta water ready and I'm going to go ahead and put that on the stove so I can bring it to a boil and I can get that part of my um, meal done. After I finish with doing that, I'm going to go ahead and that chicken that I cooked, I'm going to go ahead and slice that up. I also put on the stove, you guys, I used the reserve juice from when I made the chicken and put it on the stove and let it warm back up because I'm going to use that as my chicken broth instead of buying chicken stock or chicken broth to put in it that way it has plenty of flavor in this recipe so I'm going to chop up all those pieces until they're nice and fine well not fine you just want some good pieces of chicken in there now I'm going to remove my bacon from my skillet and I'm going to remove as much as possible but you do not want to clean your skillet out you guys you do not you want to reserve all those bits at the bottom because what we're going to do next is go ahead and add about a tablespoon of garlic we're going to add about a tablespoon of minced garlic and we're going to let that cook for just a little while stirring at all times so that it doesn't burn and then we're going to add our heavy cream we're going to add about two cups i say about two and a half cups of heavy cream you guys i really don't measure anything i just know how much i'm making and i've made this alfredo sauce so often i don't have particular measurements i also add one stick of butter to this recipe and i add the stick of butter along with the garlic the garlic and then we're going to add the broth we're going to add about a half a cup of broth into this um heavy whipping cream okay now we're making our alfredo sauce another trick that you can do but my kids don't like it is that you can also add some um oven roasted bell peppers in here and it gives it a really good flavor okay and you would add them at this time into the sauce we're going to also add about a half a cup of mozzarella cheese you do not want this sauce to be too cheesy we just want it to be nice and creamy then we're going to add some of our bacon a portion of our bacon into this sauce now when we're adding our bacon you don't want to add it all you just want to add a little bit now after I've done that, my water has come to a boil and I'm adding my noodles. The noodles that I chose to use were the cavatabi noodles and they're in a spiral design. I feel like they go really well with holding this thick creamy sauce, okay? Because when we get the sauce, the sauce is going to thicken up as you let it simmer on the stove. You don't want it to simmer too high on heat, but you want it at about a four like medium low heat and that's where you want to let your sauce simmer. And you see that it, it thickens up nicely okay so we're pretty much done so all I'm gonna do now is prepare my area and I'm gonna use the pot where my noodles are in and I'm gonna add the chicken into there and I'm gonna mix it up real good and then I will add my sauce over the top
Now you guys, as you're adding your sauce, you wanna make sure you stir it and it hits every piece of noodles that you have on there, okay? Because when we bake this off, Oh, also let me mention, I did not cook my noodles until they were al dente. I got them cooked before we hit al dente because we're going to be baking it and I did not want my noodles to be mushy, okay? So you're not going to cook your noodles to where they're al dente. You want them to get nice and soft and movable and then they'll bake off the rest or rather cook off the rest in the oven. Now I'm going to get my baking pan and I'm going to spray it down with some olive oil and then I'm going to add the pasta in there. I'm also making Mixing, making sure that I covered every noodle and everything is covered in our cream sauce, our Alfredo sauce, okay? Now with the smoked bacon in there and everything, it really gives the sauce a nice flavor. And if you add the roasted bell peppers, oh my goodness, you guys, it tastes so good. The only difference between this recipe and Olive Garden is that I did not bread my chicken. Now I'm going to add my mozzarella cheese on top and then I'm going to also add the leftover bacon that I had on top of that. Okay, and then we're going to put it in the oven to bake at about 400 degrees for about 15 about 15 to 20 minutes I wouldn't even say 20 minutes about 15 minutes is all you need for it to get done and after it's done this is the final product you guys when I tell you this is so good I actually made this for my daughter's sweet 16 and I had a lot of compliments and everybody loved it I was so excited and I was so grateful that they liked it okay but before you get into it please let it cool off it is piping hot so you let it cool off and I normally make my children's plates first so that's what you see me doing is making my children's plates and then I make my plate like I said this is a big hit in our household my kids love this dish I don't make it often because it is such a rich dish but I do make it enough for them to enjoy it I really do hope you try this recipe let me know how it turns out don't forget to like subscribe and follow me hit the bell notification so that you know when I post since we're in the quarantine at home I've been posting a lot more often because I have the time but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye